right now because of uh, Sarah Sanders uh, being, uh, uh, you know, Sarah Sanders um, being kicked out of what is it, the Red Hen or whatever that stupid restaurant is. We're already, there was a story just a little while ago, people are throwing poop at the people going into the restaurant, okay? What the hell happens to America on the streets when you already have the Democrats and the, you know, the, uh, the Democratic Socialists whipping things up into a frenzy, calling for violence and a revolution on the streets? What happens to our country between now and November when abortion is on the line? I mean, it could get really, really scary. Obviously, we saw just last year an attempt to shoot up as many Republican Congress people as possible in Virginia. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if as the stakes rise politically, uh, the, the ire rises and, and the violence rises. I think that the possibility of, of political violence is, was already high. Uh, the fact now that everything is so polarized and the fact that Trump is going to get another Supreme Court pick and the media is going to play this as the end of the world. Oh, my uh, gosh. I, I think that that's, you know, the, the, it, it, could, it could get really bad really quickly uh, unless everybody, you know, takes a step back here. Uh, that, that's the thing that um, bothers me. I mean, I, you know, I've, they're already literally calling for violence. And uh, over what? Over a, a policy at the border that was, it had, had imprisoned half the number of people than your president did when he was in office. What, what, uh, what, what do we do to relieve the pressure so it doesn't uh, escalate into that? Uh, you know, I, I, honestly, I think that getting this, this picked on as fast as possible would probably be the best thing for the country. I don't think it's going to happen politically. Uh, I also think that, that there's just a, a roiling base for the Democrats that is not going to be controlled by Chuck Schumer and Nancy Pelosi. The, the future of the Democratic Party no. is not civility. The future of the Democratic Party is Keith Ellison and uh, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, the woman who just won that primary against yep. Joe Crowley in New York. Uh, that, that's, that's where the Democratic Party yes. is going. Maxine Waters is being called anti-Maxine. She's seen with a great deal of affection by the Democratic base in a way that neither Pelosi nor Schumer are. Yeah. So what does that mean? I mean, with those, with those wins, uh, the Democratic Socialists, do you see, I mean, when, when you are talking about putting an extremist like somebody like Mike Lee or whoever it would be, that's what they'll call them, um, you have a chance of pushing the, the, the regular Democrat. I don't even know if those exist anymore, but the regular Democrat into that social democratic uh, van, which, you know, it all, the Democrats are already there, but they they've kind of still have that masquerade going on that, no, 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 those are just the crazies. I think there's an appetite to get away from those crazies, even with the Democratic uh, main populace. Am I wrong on that? I mean, I, no, I think I think that's true. I think that on both sides, there's an there's a, a look. Anybody who who doesn't spend all their day on Twitter, right? Yeah. <laughs> or engaging with this stuff wants to live a normal life. Um, but I think that the the chances that the country continues to polarize are extremely high right now. Both both parties seem to have been hijacked by the people who are the angriest. Uh, and anger right now is seen as a form of authenticity. If you're not angry, then it means that you're not authentic. But uh, that's a dangerous place to be. I'm seeing it much more on the left than the right these days. Uh, the, the left obviously has embraced the notion that acting with, with mob rule, uh, acting in violence, th this, this is something that at least should be considered. Uh, and again, as you say, I mean, these are people who, who were saying 10, you know, 10 days ago that The Handmaid's Tale was upon us. Now wait till there's a fifth vote on the Supreme Court to overturn oh, yeah. Roe v. Wade. Yeah. And you're going to have a bunch of people who are saying The Handmaid's Tale is literally upon us, right? We're, we're now at the point where if we don't stand up and violently resist, as is what happens in the book, uh, then something, something terrible could happen. So uh, again, I think things are going to get a lot worse before they get any better here.